Now let's talk about heat detection in dairy cows. And we talk about heat detection, a farmer should be able to know what the Austrian cycle means. And the Austrian cycle basically means the normal reproductive cycle between heat signs of a cow. And this normally lasts at an average of 21 days. But the period may differ best on the age of the animal. Most dairy animals that are heifers have an average uh, Austrian cycle from between 18 and 24 days. And for those mature cows, the Austrian cycle normally range between 18 to 30 days. So depending on the age, the, uh, the Austrian cycle may vary, but the average day, uh, days that the farmer needs to be uh, observant on are between the 18th and the 21 days. We also talk about the heat signs. During heat detections, it's important to uh, understand, or the farmer to understand, how long the heat uh, uh, signs will last so that they can be able to take the right and uh, correct measures to avoid uh, any repeats or to, to avoid um, uh, missing out on the expected days uh, of uh, heat. One of it is the farmer to know when the heat will last. And this is normally between 18 and 30 hours. Normally, before anything is done, the farmer should keep a close eye on the animals and observe uh, the behavior of the animal uh, before um, determining whether it is on heat <coughs> and alerting the, and informing the concerned artificial uh, insemination uh, attendant to, to be aware of a cow that needs to be served. It is important for the farmer to always use the records of the last heat detection or the records of the expected uh, day of uh, uh, an animal to be on heat. This is important for the farmer to be prepared and also to prepare the artificial insemination attendant to be able to avail himself and also uh, inseminate the animal. Most um, dairy farmers normally handle heat cases as an emergency. And we advise the smallholder farmers always to be prepared. And that's why records should always be kept as a reference to determine and to know when the cows, cow, cows are coming on heat. Before having the animals inseminated, the farmer should always make his or her research in determining which bull need to be served on the animal. They need to consult uh, a breed specialist to give information about the bulls that are available on market and thus help in determining which bull that will be selected and also confirming that the semen is available uh, from the local uh, AI uh, officer and ready and reserved for the animals that will be coming on heat. It is always good that the farmer gets prepared on that. One of the rules that farmers should use in having a successful uh, insemination and having uh, to prevent uh, repeats in the dairy cows is not to inseminate too early and not to inseminate too late. Whenever a cow comes on heat, for instance, if it is in the morning, then it should be inseminated late in the evening. If the cow comes on heat or shows the heat signs in the afternoon, then it should be uh, inseminated or served the following day in the morning. So these are basic rules that helps farmers to avoid cases of repeats 
and to have proper timing so that they can also reduce costs on uh, inseminations on services given to the animals. Now let's look at some of the signs that show that an animal is on heat. We have frequent bellowing and this will include the animal moving around uh, the farm, um, being restless and uh, this will also indicate that uh, the animal uh, needs to be served. We also have the animals being alert and easily excitable. The person looking after the animals or the farmer should be more observant during the time they expect the animals to get on heat and observe the animals whether they are in a herd at least three times in a day. It is always advised disabled, that uh, a farmer spends at least 15 minutes observing the animals and looking at any um, unusual uh, behavior of the animals to determine whether they are on heat. One of the signs that will also show you that the animal is on heat is when there's reduced milk production. It may be within a day or uh, within two or three days, but this will also tell that there's an unusual um, uh, happening on the cow that needs to be checked. We also have a swollen reddish vulva and the farmer should be very observant and be close to the animals to determine and to observe whether they will see any swollen or reddish, uh, swollen reddish vulva to, and that will tell them that this cow is on heat. Farmers will also see a clear sticky mucus discharge from the vulva. This will inform the farmer that this cow is on heat. This is a common tendency for the animals that are getting on heat to always mount on other cows or standing to be mounted. This is a clear sign that the animal is on heat and the farmer should be very observant. It is always uh, known that the best uh, way to determine whether the cow is on heat is when it actually stands to be mounted. One of the other things that needs to be considered in heat detection is observation. Farmers need to observe the animals closely. They need to use their records to determine when is the expected day. They need to observe the animals uh, for any heat signs. Observation is very important and in cases where a farmer sees a bloody discharge from the vulva of the, of the cow, that will clearly show the farmer that this cow was on heat two or three days ago. And therefore it means the farmer has to wait for another um, heat, uh, 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 another cy uh, cycle to be very observant and inseminate the animals. We also have one other case called non-return time, which actually happens on the farm. And a farmer may find that the cow is not getting on heat or there are no signs of heat being detected. This will be noticed by a farmer when the cow goes for over 60 days without showing any heat signs. The farmer needs to closely monitor that cow because there could be possible reasons to, to, to that occurrence. One of the main reasons that will make the cows not to come on heat within the expected time is fertility. And the reason why some animals uh, do not uh, show heat signs is because of poor feeding and that affects fertility. One other aspect is health problems. The cow could be having uh, infection uh, within the reproductive uh, tract and this will prevent uh, the animal from getting on heat because it affects the uh, hormonal uh, uh, release and balance within the body of a cow. 
So the farmer has to be observant. And when this happens, they need to consult a veterinary officer to check the animal, to find out whether they have an infection, and also to look at their feeding um, uh, program and give a balanced diet and uh, breed, uh, give the animals the right quantities of feeds to improve the fertility of the animal. Remember, the aim of the farmer is to have their cow get on heat on the right, at the right time and to give uh, birth to a calf every subsequent year.